is one branch which lets you very close to the internals of computing. Screening test had uh, three coding questions. The, uh, during the preparations, I had a very limited time frame for myself. Hi everyone, welcome back to eLearning Bridge. I hope you guys are doing good and staying safe. So this video will be dedicated to those folks who are in the core branches like electronics and they are feeling demotivated that they cannot move into the software industry domain. Because in today's podcast, I have called someone who was into this core branch but recently cracked placement in one of the best product based companies Expedia and his journey is again very interesting because he was someone who was very good at computer science till 10 plus 2 because of the curiosity and interest he joined this core branches because he wanted to deep dive into the computation part like how it happens over the machine so because of that interest he was into this core branch but after learning those concepts his end goal was to move into the software industry and he did that so in this video many things we have covered for you first most important the complete interview process of Expedia for the fresher and what kind of challenges folks from the core branches used to face when they try to move from the core branch into the software industry along with that how he was preparing along with his core branch and what kind of compensation you guys can get if you apply on campus and off campus and many more challenges for the folks who are in the core branches this video will be very very motivating for you if you are someone who is into the different branch and looking forward for the career in this software industry so watch this video till the end and make sure to hit the like button share this video and if you are new to the channel then make sure to subscribe and press the notification icon so that you never miss and any single podcast from e-learning with so now let's move on to the podcast part okay so hey welcome Shora on my channel first of all thank you so much for joining us today and uh, as usual definitely I'm going to start with the introductory session first I would ask you to quickly introduce yourself and just give our viewers the idea about your academics part sure uh, so hi everyone I am Shora Kumar I hail from Dehradun Uttarakhand and I'm currently working as a software engineer at Expedia Group. I uh, completed my uh, graduation in electronics and communication engineering from Punjab Engineering College, Chandigarh. I'm a 2020 pass out. And yep, that's all about me. I know, sure, your journey is quite interesting because when we had a like first conversation, I got to know more things about you. So, and that question would be like, till 10 plus 2, you were like pursuing with the computer science domain and you were really good at it right like you were programming you were doing the coding stuff and all you were liking it but then why this sudden switch into the ec branch in the graduation i'm like i'm very curious to know about it and probably my audience is also very curious sure. right? so yes uh, i was good in computer applications i had a good java base and i had already learned some concepts about arrays and linked lists and i liked coding at that time as well but I'm a person who likes to explore everything. So I wanted to explore things okay. and wanted to know the internals. And uh, EC is one branch which lets you very close to the internals of computing. And that's why I had thought to choose EC. And and I'm, I'm really happy about it because now when I write some code, I know what's exactly going behind that. So I really like my choice of <laughs> using EC. So my next question would be for you that how did you get the interview opportunity for Expedia? What is the complete interview process of Expedia for a fresher? Like how many rounds will be there uh, if somebody is going through the off campus part and uh, in the each round, what kind of questions and what kind of topics interviewers were focusing? Okay, so uh, Expedia came to my campus actually and okay. they came at very later stage, uh, almost when everyone was placed and uh, they came around April 2020. Uh, that's how I got the opportunity but uh, to get the interview opportunity you have to crack an initial screening test first. The screening test had uh, three coding questions. The coding questions were uh, mainly medium level and they were based on arrays, dynamic programming and hash maps. So using that uh, you, you were able to solve all the questions okay. and there were 50 candidates from my college who appeared for the test and out of them uh, those who scored who got more than 2.5 questions correct uh, like about 15 of them got so they were shortlisted for the interview rounds as far as the interview rounds are concerned so there were uh, two in uh, technical rounds and one behavior round and in the technical rounds again the focus was more on the uh, medium level questions they were based upon hash maps uh, dynamic programming and some concepts of op okay. ops so mostly the questions were around that uh, in the behavior round uh, they had a very different set of uh, questions wherein they were they were giving you situations and you had to uh, like they were uh, judging you what what would you do when a certain situation would come up so it was more of an HR round okay okay so overall like how did you find the difficulty level for a fresher 
whether it was the coding questions or the technical question what like if i ask you to rate the difficulty level out of 10 for expedia how would you rate it okay so the difficulty level i would say was uh, medium and it was uh, out of 10 i would say i would give it a 7 um reason being the questions were mostly uh questions that you might have come across in your preparations and uh, they were although they were good questions they were medium level questions like from if you take up any site any site you filter out the medium level questions you would get that those questions in your uh, tests and even in your interviews uh and mostly they were focused on the approach uh, they were they didn't want to see the actual right solution they would the interviewers were very helpful and they would really guide you uh, your way to the approach and they just wanted to know that you have a problem solving capability after joining the ec branch right when did you realize that you are interested in the software profile and why means obviously you were into the cs domain like in your 10 plus 2 time but as a interest you opted for the uh, ec branch but obviously there would have been a point when you realized okay uh, again although i joined the ec but i am highly highly interested for the software engineering domain when did you realize it and what was that point sure so um after i got clear of my understanding of the internals in my ec branch i had subjects which uh, related very much to the software domain but uh they were more focused on the internals for example embedded software and uh so those gave me a little understanding but i knew to implement uh, certain things you need to go look at uh, overall level and start uh, to build good softwares you need to know uh, have a basic understanding of programming so i started learning object oriented programming and f uh, l- d- data structures and algorithm i started practicing them and okay. after that i realized that uh they are very good for your mind they actually uh, they increase your problem solving capability so that was the time i thought that okay this this re- this really interesting me this domain uh, i would love to work mm-hmm. for a longer time in th- and stay in this domain for a longer time so that's why i got inclined towards computer science again i uh, also in my college there were uh, lectures which were uh, being uh, taken for ec graduates uh for uh, operating systems and object oriented programming which got me really pulled into that side when you realize that you are more interested in the software profile then how did you start from the zero because uh, definitely knowing about the programming part coding part dsa is is a one thing and that's that's a must for the uh, software engineering profile but there would have been other things as well so if i ask you uh, that how did you start from the zero when you realized that you are interested in to the software engineering profile how you actually started it so that's a very interesting part because uh, during the preparations i had a very limited time frame for myself because i know to able to crack the companies uh, in the campus uh, there was a very limited time for me so i had to start it in a very planned manner and uh, i would say i did not take up any uh courses from online courses or video courses uh i tried using online websites like geeks for geeks and uh interview bit and tried to follow a structured manner wherein i started with my basics and got to a level where i could solve uh the big uh, the bigger problems or the difficult problem so i started with easy level problems and uh, then i went to the difficult problems and uh meanwhile when you are solving the difficult problems you know you have to use this particular data structure to solve it efficiently so that's why i first jumped down to that uh, data structure got hold of it and then came back uh to the problem solved it so i would say uh, trying in this manner really helped me because uh you you gradually build a base by solving the easy problems then you go move to the medium ones and to the difficult ones and you you know that you are lacking something to solve the problem efficiently you quickly go learn that and then you apply to that problem and that's how your uh, learning increases so that that really helped me freshers or pre final years if you think that you cannot make into this software industry if you belong to a core branch then he is the best example for that <laughs> okay so uh, uh, short you have like worked with another good product based company that was oyo okay so i would like to put up another question that to crack the product based companies like oyo and expedia is also well known good well established product based company what all things help you a lot uh, that's what like programming is one part the uh, dsa is one part coding is one part and now you must have seen people around you or uh, folks like there are some some folks who are doing good projects some folks are uh, just getting their opportunities based on the hackathons 
few folks are working on the open source contribution so there were like lot of things are going on uh, so in a combined package if i ask you what all things help you a lot to crack the oyo and expedia kind of good product based companies so the main thing that these companies focus on is your problem solving capabilities and your knowledge on the uh, basic no- uh, knowledge on the data structures and algorithms so first of all uh, what i really approached is i, I had to get a clear understanding of the data structures and algorithms that is a very core important part of computer science and if that part is uh, clear then you can obviously learn about more things yeah. and there is an endless pool so first of all uh to get into the good companies a good product based companies you have to be very strong in data structures and yeah. algorithms you have to keep practicing whatever stage you are at, at of your preparation you should just go and practice whatever time you can till you get a good job so that was a good mantra for me uh also uh, there is one thing which is very good is you do on the internships you do projects that really helps you because that give you a practical yeah. exposure so you when you're faced with an actual problem you have to write a code in very uh, crisp manner in a very clean manner so that uh, you know how how well it works so doing projects and doing internships that uh, really helped me in writing a good code good quality code and okay. uh, an efficient code so that's one thing i would recommend again so next question for you shor uh, and i think that's a really common question and that's a concern for the folks as well right Uh, who belongs to at least the uh, core branches so according to you based on your experiences like how have often uh, ec graduates get off campus opportunities like if they are getting less opportunities then what different things are they supposed to do in order to get good opportunities in the software industry so yeah that's definitely true ec graduates do receive uh, lesser opportunities uh, especially off campus in an on campus environment you actually get to appear for the test and then it's your uh, abilities that would matter but in an off campus environment uh, it things are very different so first of all you need to have a very good resume and uh, you need to have a good skill set so for example if you if you are trying to learn a language you also try to do some projects around it try to build a web application around it or a mobile application around it and uh, that's how you would get the practical exposure and that would reflect in your cv so when you actually write that you know uh, something and you have a project uh, based on that uh, the companies or the interviewers they actually get to know okay uh, despite being a core branch or non cs branch person he has done something by himself to get uh, to get hold of that uh, part so yeah. that's why uh, they really then they then you are actually treated equally to other candidates so you need to have some base because even in cs uh, people are more focused towards projects and projects and learning the stuff uh, learning the languages in a very good manner so that you have a yeah. good understanding of it so then you are treated at par if you have that knowledge with you i know the kind of compensation uh, good product based companies used to pay like it is oyo or the expedia to the freshers but uh since you you might have appeared into some off campus interviews as well and maybe on campus interviews as well what is the average compensation a fresher can get in good product based companies uh, like if he and she is going through the off campus side right probably in the on campus i have seen a different scenario like i have been also through with this process but off campus i have seen a like a different way a different structure for it so same thing i like since you are a fresher uh, probably most of the folks won't uh, relate themselves with me because i am a like four year of experience so i think it probably relate with your thought uh, okay this guy can give me the correct idea about the compensation so what kind of average compensation they can get if he, they choose the off campus path for the product based companies yeah so uh, for freshers their skill set is their greatest asset and you, in off campus situations you are actually your compensation is directly proportional to your skill set so the greater knowledge that you have uh, the companies would be willing to pay you that much so okay. in an off campus environment if you're really good at solving problems you prove yourself then you can get anywhere between a uh, 15 to 30 lakhs per wow. annum even for freshers wow. and uh, obviously uh, the good companies would definitely want you but uh, if you're uh having an average skill set and you know the language and you have done some projects on that uh then also you you would be treated in a good when you would get anywhere between 10 to 20 lakhs per annum 
even be, despite being freshers. Uh, okay. For those who 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 want to join uh, fast paced startups, uh, they they would be thinking that uh, startups do not pay very well. But mm-hmm. if you're actually into you're actually very good at your uh, problem solving capabilities and your programming capabilities, then you actually get paid well as well. Wow, wow, such a big number. I mean, trust me. And uh, I wish I could have that kind of a skill set because I was so dumb uh, in my master's. Like I and I won't blame myself probably the environment because I was not aware that much. Trust me. And that's the reason of having this channel to bring such folks who can share that knowledge and experience with us. Okay, how and how much you can uh, like get paid for your uh, skill set and how good opportunities you can get in the industry. So thanks a lot, Shor, uh, for sharing these wonderful advices, sharing the interview experience of Expedia and your journey, like shifting from a CS to EC and then again software. So that's a very, very good journey. And uh, that's all about this podcast guys and i hope you guys would have found this really really informative for me it was quite informative because whosoever i featured on my channel uh, i used to hear something new so that's that's the beauty of uh, bringing different different people from different background uh, from my side sure and from my audience side a big big thanks to you for spending your time with us today thanks Sashak, and thanks really for having me uh, this is a great thing that you're doing you're providing a medium for people who want to get into uh, these kind of jobs into software engineering and you are guiding their way out so that's a really great thing you are doing and i really like that about you thanks for having me thank you thank you so much so guys that was all about in this podcast i hope you would have liked short's journey and how he moved from the core branch to the software industry and i hope this interview experience of Expedia will be really helpful if somebody is preparing for that. So you can take those points and prepare accordingly. And if you like this session, then make sure to hit the like button and subscribe the channel. I will see you guys next weekend with another amazing podcast or amazing interview experience. Till then, just stay safe, stay home, take care of yourself and your family too.